<laughs> this just got this little nap. Oh, we both have NT1As, God, respect. Man. Oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, I know. Guarded Mike, man. Honestly, respect to the NT1As, yeah. for real. Dead ass. It. Dead ass. So, what time is it for you right now? Uh, it's literally 11. It's quarter past 11 in the morning. So yeah <laughs> so it's sunday so it's really... it is a sunday morning for you yeah it's a saturday night for sunday me morning. it's nine o'clock over here yeah, man. oh nice. shit yeah no it's pretty uh it's pretty early for me at least i mean Ontario i don't really wake Canada, up this early. <laughs> that's nuts. oh shit that's crazy that is nuts yeah are you ready to get into this i know you've been waiting <laughs> let's fucking do it let's fucking do it yeah sorry for like all the delays and shit but i've been busy like every single weekend so it's like every like all the dates like you've like asked i've just been so busy so it's like nah, you're good i'm so Don't glad worry. we've got a date now <laughs> sweet man yeah welcome back to music muse rated five stars on spotify by andy thank you so much guys love you all thanks for tuning in today we are here with lyra an amazing artist rising up in the scene how are you doing yeah what's up yeah i'm going great man how are you it's been a good day i'm not gonna lie you know um That's tons good. of storms obviously my power guys my power just went out before yeah. this okay. actually right as we were about to record my power went out so i had to i had to call and i was like yo yeah everything's man. out <laughs> That's right there i'm chill i'm chill with it i got like all day so it's like you know we're chilling it, yeah. it's all good now we're, we're chilling now we're good we're here <laughs> exactly man all right so to start us off today give us your what and your why what are you doing with your music and why um i don't know really i just kind of just make it and then it's like i didn't really expect like anything to happen like i mean i mean i've been influenced by like so many people like like eric and stuff you know mm -hmm. but it's kind of just like from that i just kind of just made music and it's like i don't know i don't really have why <laughs> like I, I just make it <laughs> um yeah totally you know it's fun exactly it's just fun like dead ass that's that's literally <laughs> all i can say it's just what it is yeah yeah for real man yeah and it's like that's yeah, a that, that's a <laughs> like that's just like a beautiful thing in itself honestly it's just like i'm doing it because like i love the art i love the aspect of it so exactly. it's cool yeah. exactly yeah and my I like whole family's like very musicy so it's like oh wow okay you know, yeah so my brother like he plays guitar um my dad he like he plays guitar he like he made music when he was like younger like in the 80s or something which wow. is crazy um so it's like he's got like a whole studio downstairs but <laughs> i wish he used it more but um that's nuts but yeah he's got yeah so it's like a very musicy family um including my mom she likes music too so it's like wow you know all the all the all the shit's gone into me and i'm just making it yeah you know, spotify and all that shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so much speaking it. of yeah speaking of your music how would you describe the genre of the music you make fuck i don't even know am i allowed to swear <laughs> is, is that okay yeah yeah okay yeah. but yeah man i don't look i feel like i was just thinking about it this morning i'm like like because I knew you were gonna you were gonna ask this. I'm like, look, it's kind of like a mix of just like, it's just literally pop music. Like people say it's like, oh, it's hyper pop. It's like, it's not really hyper pop. It's just like, no, dude, literally it's pop, pop music. <laughs> literally, yeah. And it's like, um, that's like, yeah. And people that like even with like, Eric and you know Glaive and all that. It's and everyone's like, oh, it's hyper pop. It's like, at the start it sort of was. But I was now gonna it's just say like, maybe it's maybe it used to be hyper, but now it's it's just pop, man yeah exactly call it pop yeah and it's like yeah exactly and you know i feel like um everyone's just con con sort of gone in their own direction with what they want to do like from the hyper pop and i used to do a lot of hyper pop but like that's all gone like i, I hate all of it um but i kind of just i literally it's literally just like pop music that's like yeah yeah like literally you're right everyone kind of went in their own direction like look like glaive eric breakants like camo delete zeke lou like fucking yeah everyone. right i know yeah it, it's so true like um yeah everyone's going their own direction and it's really cool to see because it's like 
literally everyone's got this they've still got them little hyper pop elements in their little music yeah. you know yeah so yeah yeah so are there any challenges you face you know being in australia so far away from the u.s scene where everything is kind of happening right now that's an interesting question um look i feel like because it's all online like literally everything sorry i knocked my mic but literally everything is all online like it's all through email like fucking instagram discord like literally like i get my beats like most of my beats off youtube like and it's like and i feel like everyone's like that too yeah so it's like um but i guess being like in australia it sort of makes me like sort of i wouldn't say different but it's like because like not many people i feel like australia doesn't really get recognition for their music mm -hmm. but it's like it's really cool to see that like from my like standpoint that i'm getting like some sort of recognition and you know it, it's really cool but you know I, I just see myself as just like another artist like like everyone else really mm -hmm. so yeah yeah i can literally like you're so right about that i can literally only name you two australian artists one of them Kid being Leroy, right? Kid Leroy and uh, yeah. Blondum, if you know who Blondum is. No, I don't actually. Check him out, bro. Should I know him? Insane. Yeah, I'll check him out. Blondum. Mm -hmm. It's like dumb blonde, but just blonde like dumb. switch around. Ah, clever, clever. Yeah, yeah no, I'll, I'll check him out actually. It's fire. Yeah, you might have cool actually it. seen his videos uh, on TikTok, but you just wouldn't know. I'll tell you about it after because I don't yeah, know if he likes yeah, yeah. people exposing him on here, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, I probably have seen his... Uh, that's another thing I want to mention too. Um, I don't know if you're going to ask it, but like, like on TikTok, it's it's crazy. It's like, back with like what you were saying, like with like being an Australian like artist, like how it feels like different from being like in America. Um, it's like all on TikTok, like I feel like everyone like locally knows who I am. Like they've seen my videos um it's like I yeah well, well that's how i found like, out about you like you're you're reaching yeah, exactly like australia's over here yeah, canada's man. up here you're reaching from down here to up here it's like <laughs> yeah dead on yeah yeah and it's like i literally went to a party like two weeks ago and like like, like there was people there that like i've seen you on tiktok and i'm like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was crazy i'm like it's just it feels so surreal and like i don't know man it's just, it's just like tiktok is like Pay, like paved the way for me so much like it's helped yeah so much it's ridiculous but yeah like i don't know just your song uh like fucked up in the middle of june just drilled into my head <laughs> just absolutely drilled into Thank my head really i love that song like it's one of my favorites from you absolutely thank and, you uh, oh my god i'm surprised you like that i it's... i actually i've like slowly begin to hate that song i just hated like my mixing on that song no, the mix um, is even that bad, <laughs> that, right? that, that, that. I don't I'm know. Just, I guess I like know as what, like as especially know. as an artist, I guess as you listen to the song like a bunch and a bunch and a bunch, you start to see the flaws. But don't delete that. Yeah. I love it. Like yeah, there's no, obviously no, people who it really it like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I'll, as I'll much as your brain is telling like, you like this little one part where the fucking 323 hertz frequency of my voice is bad like just yeah no, that's it. literally like me like <laughs> like that's literally me like with all my music i'm like oh shit like this, this tiny portion of my music sounds shit and i'm like you know what? i'm just gonna take the whole song down but it's like the thing from stopping me from doing that is that like there's people that actually listen to it and like that's all that matters and it's like mm -hmm. it, it means a lot you know like people like the songs that I hate. <laughs> like, you know? yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah, yeah. So, how does it feel to have cosigns from people like Billy and uh, Angelus, especially? I was gonna mention Angelus earlier, but uh, I just decided not to when we were talking about all the artists because I was like, I have a question about that. So, Angelus, that's crazy, yeah. right? And Billy. Yeah, yeah. Billy, Billy's really cool. I remember, like, we literally met through TikTok like we were both pretty small like relatively small i think i was like a tiny bit bigger than him in yeah. size actually but bro like blew up and i'm like know, what right? this this yeah and he's like he's literally so creative with his music like mm -hmm. i fucking love him i wish like we actually have a song together but it's like it's pretty old so it's like oh yeah okay yeah it probably yeah, won't see but, the light um, of day yeah 
Yeah, I don't know, depending on what he thinks, but he said he wants to release it like later down the road. So it's like, maybe, we'll see. I mean, but, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, Billy's really cool. I love him. Um, his music is just, it's crazy. Like, I yeah. fucking love that dude. But uh, yeah, cool. no, um, yeah, exactly. Um, but Angelus, yeah, no, we used to play Minecraft back in like 2017. No way. Like, back, yeah, yeah, we were like, we had this whole group going, um, and it's like we used to play Minecraft all the time. It was it was the fun funnest shit ever. Um, <laughs> but then we like stopped talking, and it's like the whole group like separated, and like recently we got back in contact. And I told Angelus like I'm like, once we got back in contact, this was like 2019, 20, maybe early 2020. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like, uh, we'll say to Angelus because Angelus was like getting big from like music and like hype pop, the whole scene there. Um, I said to Angelus, I'm like, look, I'm gonna make a song and I'll show you like <laughs> what's going on in a year with my music. Yeah, yeah. and then Angelus That's was so like, sick. yeah, yeah. So it's like, like you know. You know, fast forward a bit, you know, we're chilling. And Angelus is like, I love Angelus. Like, you know, make the best music, you know? <laughs> yeah, Angelus is so Inspiration. cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know Even you were, you know, you've been in the scene for such a long time. Oh, yeah, no, I've like, I feel like I've just been chilling and it's kind of like, <laughs> I've just been starting to make music and it's like, I don't know, I from everyone like coming up in the scene it's just like like i've just taken inspiration from everyone it's like i've just been watching down at everyone <laughs> oh watching watching up from everyone yeah down like, i don't know i, I don't, don't know. you know I, just, I don't yeah i don't know the correct terminology for that <laughs> yeah i don't know either but like you know what i'm saying it's like yeah i'm watching everyone and then it's like damn i want to make music and then i fucking made music and we're chilling now yeah and no angelus billy you know goats you know absolutely they, i really fuck, fuck with their music all right so coming down to our last two here oh actually last three i'm a liar what actually, is your biggest goal in music for this year damn i want to do a show Ooh, I, really I was show. yeah i was gonna ask about that because like i would love to go to a lyra show honestly yeah bro that'd be sick um thing is i'm in australia so it's like yeah like, if i need to do a show it's like it's gonna have to be like in melbourne where i live so mm -hmm. it's like um i don't know and i'm still 17 so it's like i all like the venues i do shows you have to be like over 18 so it's like i don't know <laughs> but um yeah, i'd so really annoying. love to do a show yeah it is annoying but um speaking of which i i was gonna go see aries right because he was coming to melbourne <laughs> yeah and like i was about to buy my tickets and then it said over 18 like only and i'm like they fucking that's bro, annoying they messed messed it up so bad i have but, a similar um, story to that i was yeah. gonna go see aries and break it's in february <laughs> and then it got cancelled oh that sucks oh my god man yeah no i i i'd love to see break it someday like break -ins is like one of my inspirations too i fucking love break -ins. yeah <sighs> all these Damn, u.s man. people man so lucky yeah like yeah, right. Can't yeah, believe it, bro. <laughs> I was yeah, like this man, close to like it was about to happen and it just got cancelled. I was I was gonna get to see Aries oh. on stage, man, and I had like the floor the floor tickets and everything, so I was gonna oh, like, shit. show up early and go like straight to the front of the oh, stage my god. and it was <laughs> That would have been so good. Oh my god. Yeah, no, you guys are fucking lucky that that you get like uh one of my well Vase actually, he's the the um producer for distressed he um he got to see breakinson aries actually mm -hmm. and he fucking loved it um so and it's like when i was like gonna book the tickets like because vaith is like you know like my age um mm -hmm. so when vaith saw it i'm like shit i could see it see them too but then I was about to book them and it said over 18, which is really dumb because the venue didn't really support like all ages. But anyway, yeah. it's all right though. It's all right. There'll always be another opportunity. Great. Maybe the next time you go to an Aries show, you'll be opening for it. Who knows? Oh, who knows, man? I would love to open for Aries, bro. Aries is, I fucking love Aries. I was like listening to Aries like back in 
when what what was the uh what welcome home was it let me type it up yeah I it's, think it's, it's called it's, welcome home you know how it's yeah welcome bad home. news sayonara um yeah fucking what, I used to what else to that man all the uh time. race car <laughs> fucking um what's amy's grave uh, uh, uh yes that one carousel um, yeah, no, I used did to i already say carousel carousel i carousel. think so. i don't know <laughs> I fuck with it's that song perfect. so much. I love it. Yeah, I love that song. They're all goaded songs. I fucking love Aries. I can't express my love. You know? I love that guy so much. Bad news? What's the other one? <sighs> oh, very... let me... Let me There's another one. There's another one that I'm forgetting. Right now. And then I have the entire album. Pony? 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... Right, let me limit. There's no. another one. Bad news? Sonora. Deity. Deity? Deity. Yeah. Oh, home is well. Oh, Santa stuff. Monica. Santa Monica. Yes. Oh my god, you can't forget that. <laughs> I love that song. That's one of my song. favorites. Oh shit. Yeah, that's a banger. <laughs> I almost just dropped my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. No, I've dropped my phone so many times. There's like so many cracks in it. <laughs> see. There's like a bullet hole. Yeah. It's fucked. It's oh fucked my up. gosh. But yeah, love Aries, honestly, and sick goal. I totally yeah. want to see you perform. Yeah, man. I would love to absolutely love to you got to get someone to shoot the show then so you can like put it on youtube for people oh yeah 100 percent. yeah no um i fucking i love everything i love like everything about like performing and stuff like people filming it's like it's crazy like i don't know that i just would love to so bad you know the whole yeah. vibe of just being on stage yeah you know. all right so coming down to these last two are you ready Yes, I am so ready for this, man. All right, let's do it. What is a funny story or experience you have? It doesn't have to be from music. It can be from any point in your life about anything. doesn't matter. And uh, just go for oh, it. Shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, my God. Um, well, uh, bro, that's a good question because, like, oh, damn. Well, I mean, from music... I was thinking about this like the other day i tell this story a lot because it's like it's what sort of influenced me to make music too um so i um i was like this was like 2020 right this is when i was like sort of i was talking to angelus again this is like that time period um and so i joined this server with like angelus and all these people like all these people from the scene right yeah um it was like i forget who it was but there was so many people if you like pulled up a list of like the whole scene like i could name them out but um <laughs> okay yeah so i literally joined it and um and like everyone was like bullying me and shit it was so like think about it now it was, it was funny as fuck but like they obviously didn't mean it but like it was i was like damn what the fuck everyone's so like like this is when I was like off social media and like everything. Mm -hmm. So I come back to like Discord, you know, cause I used to use it a lot. Um, yeah. I come back to it, I'm like, shit, everyone's so like fucking just loud and just, just like, just over the top. Like, I don't know, I joined and like everyone was flaming me. I forgot the reason why, I think they were like, they found my Spotify, like my actual like personal spotify and they were like roasting all the songs in my playlist <laughs> um, <laughs> what yeah i know and then i fucking left and i'm like fuck dude this is this uh, this broke my heart i'm like shit um but they didn't mean it obviously like mm -hmm. um <laughs> but yeah no then after that i like I'm like fuck i'm just gonna make a ton of music like i just feel like making music now it's like you know you know what this is gonna be my like come up story like i got bullied <laughs> for the music i listened to so i'm gonna make the music i want to make yeah and you know <laughs> you get you get what i'm saying <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> yeah man that's that's but, yeah, a that's sick a story, story though not gonna lie i'm gonna take a guess of who was in the call i, I have like two i have like two people who i think might have been yeah, there bro, go for it was go one of them osquin i don't think so I don't know. Black one Maybe. Wells? Maybe. It was more like the um smaller artists mm. at the time. Look, I'll I'll find them after this interview and I'll tell you. Cause like I briefly remember, but um but no, I, 
yeah of course it was, fucking, it was fucked up though like i was like i would took it so personal i'm like shit oh my god but now it's just like it's funny because it's like like look where i like where i'm sort of at right now it's like yeah i'm making music you know rather than getting roasted for like for like my you know personal spotify playlist mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah I'm just yeah kidding. sick story honestly <laughs> So, coming down to this last one. There's yes. a little bit of pressure. It's a pretty big question, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, man. Go for it. What is a message of inspiration or some advice you have for everyone listening right now? Damn. That's a deep question. Um, fuck. Honestly. Damn. <laughs> that's deep i really gotta think about that but like i don't know just do whatever the fuck you want like don't care about other people like what they think about you i have tiktok right i gotta post videos that like so many people see like i was saying before like literally probably everyone in my suburb knows like like through like links knows like oh familiar who are familiar with me right mm-hmm. it's like you know that's like a fucking that's crazy like so many people you know who are are, like sort of aware of my presence like that Mm -hmm. um but like just don't care what other people think because i'm sure they got a lot of opinions about me they're like oh what the fuck is this guy like who is he what is he doing it's like stupid he's not gonna do anything with music he's terrible it's like honestly i'm doing it for myself i'm not doing it for anyone else like yeah like um so yeah, just don't really, don't care about what other people think. That's just live like that. Live your life to the fullest, man. Because like, like, you only got one life and do whatever the fuck you want. Just don't like, like, don't make sure it doesn't like impact, like hurt other people or anything. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, do it for yourself. Do shit for yourself. Yeah, of course. And that's, that's facts amazing message you can't really let people hate on your art you can't let that negative energy right? taint what you're doing like you just can't let it do that man like yeah just like so right man. don't listen to those people who are like bro your music is ass or like oh you're yeah. not gonna make it like bro just like i'm do doing you. it for myself man mm-hmm. exactly i'm doing me and um <laughs> that's that's the most you can do man yeah you know yeah jeb yeah that's my message all right i just want to say thank you so much for coming on the show today it's been absolutely amazing to meet you you know i'm a big fan so you too man it's just thank it's, you it's super cool to have you know talk to you and everything it's it's been great thank you yeah i appreciate this lots man this is the first podcast i've like ever done so Ooh, that's like, exciting about, like music you know so and you know i've always wanted to do like an interview or some sort it's like that shit's like so cool but um yeah man Th- thanks for having me i appreciate it a lot like, of course yeah we can totally like run it again in like six months or a year or something like that yeah. of course bro i'd be so down like i'd be so down of course yeah, yeah man. all right thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode if you did enjoy it please make sure to slap a like on it slap a subscribe on it of course if you're not already if you are i love you so much thank you guys and uh you know, hit us with a follow on Spotify. Hit us with a five star rating on Spotify. Hit us with a follow on Instagram at the Music Muse Podcast. TikTok at the Music Muse Podcast. I don't know if I follow you on TikTok. I might. I know I do on my personal account, might. but maybe not I on think a no, podcast you, account. I think you do. I remember you like followed me. Or okay. I think so. I don't know. I'm pretty sure of it. I'll check out. It's after. all chill. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah it's your opportunity to plug your socials now. Go ahead. I don't know, man. Follow me on Spotify, SoundCloud. I'm almost at like 200 followers on uh, on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. But uh, um, Tide of You comes out June 3rd. It's probably already out by the time this is out anyway. So June 3rd. Assume, yeah. Um. Anyways, pre-save it in my bio. Like it's in my Instagram <laughs> Links bio. Links in description, so guys. Just stream it right now. Exactly, man. You know how it is. You know how it is, man. Of course. Love to all of you. You guys are crazy. Keep up the support. It's been amazing recently. And me and Max, hopefully, we'll see you in the next episode. Peace, guys. Bye, everyone. That was...